Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Pixelated Pickaxe. I'm Nathan, also known as the Ajax. I'm here with a bunch of other people. I'm here with Edmod, who's a lumberjack and he's okay, and Shockjar, who is screwing around with TNT, and Hazat, who apparently is dressed as if he were a pony, like how he would be a pony in Equestria, and complete. He even has a Lego brick cutie mark. So, yeah. Also, we have Arstinoven in the default skin. And up, way up there, you can barely see him, is Jack Buddy, or Jack Party, or whatever. Um, I just call him Jack because that's easier. He's up on top of this giant, giant bridge. And this is a bridge that he's made. Um, he and another person, uh, Gus Griswold, they built this bridge together. And I knew they were building a bridge. Uh, I just did not know how freaking huge it was going to be. Um, if you guys look around, yeah, this this is giant. This is bigger and taller than the dome, Little Brick's dome, which is way over there in the distance. It's not really rendering. It's taller than Wells Manor on the hill. It's freaking giant. So um, it's an imp impressive build. I really like how it looks. But it's... Oops. Derp. It's just a little... It's a little too domineering for this city. So we've agreed that we're going to move it. Because it, we can't destroy it. It's just too epic to destroy. But we're going to move it. And to do that, um, I've had to install some mods. Uh, not mods, actually. Plugins. They're called plugins when they're applied to a server, I guess. And um, so certain plugins I've installed, um, one of them is called World Edit. And it gives you the ability to... Um, I guess edit the world. I mean, pretty straightforward. You can copy and paste. You can cut hills out. You can cut stru structures out of a certain area and paste them into different other structures. Um, you can generate spheres, which is not how Little Brick made his sphere. He built his legitimately. But uh, you can do a bunch of stuff with World Edit. Uh, a few secondary things I installed is one called um, God Powers, which basically is God Mode. Um, I've given myself that because I'm going to need to um, manipulate where I stand uh, to encompass this um, giant bridge, and I don't want to die in the process. So it's just a way to prevent me from um, falling a great distance and dying. It's just a way to um, be more efficient. So yeah, these guys are just going to be here checking it out. Uh, to use World Edit, it's already installed on the server. I'm going to go ahead and um, enable God Mode. So, um, oops, I guess I already had it enabled. Um, there we go, I'm invincible. Uh, one of the features of World Edit if is you have this compass here. It's not just a normal compass. I can use it to automatically, instantly teleport. So I want to go say hi to those guys. Bam. Instant teleportation. Might screw with the lag a little bit, because i got to load everything again. And so if I want to go up there and say hey to Jack, bam. Hello, Jack. He can't hear us. Here we are on top of his epic bridge. As you can see, it's got quite an impressive view, but it's not going to be here much longer. Um, what I need to do to move this bridge is you need to set certain points uh, to encompass a, um, a rec uh, not a rectangle, a box around this creation. So they have to be two opposite corners. So they're like a lower right and an upper left, for instance. So I actually have no need to be up here. But now that I have God Mode on, I can certainly swan dive into anything, and I won't die. So let's do that. Swan dive! Of course, I landed in the water anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, so over here, I want to get the upper part of this bridge. So there's another command in World Edit, which is up. I can't actually fly. There's, I don't have a flying um, plugin installed, but this is something similar. Over here, so this is pretty much the outer edge of the bridge that we want to copy. Um, and I want to make sure that I'm beyond the towers as well, which is roughly right there. Yeah, okay. So then I'm standing on this block. And I can go up, and I think it's about 50 blocks. So it teleports me up 50 blocks, and it also puts this block of glass below my feet, so I'm okay. Um, so now I want to set this as one of my points that I want to copy. To do that, I do slash slash POS position and 1. All right. 
Now this is why I enabled gone mode. Now there's no really easy way to get down from here except destroying the glass. So, we thud. See, no death. That's the only reason I have God mode installed. Um, all right, so let's go over to the other side of the bridge. Um, that was the upper left part. Upper, or well, uh, the upper part of the bridge. Now I need to go and select uh, the other e edge, which will be on the lower right, um, or lower opposite corner. So I'm making my way all the way across over here, and over here is where I want to copy the other side. So again, I want to make sure I'm getting enough of that, which I am, and I'm over here, but I don't need to go up because it's like you have to create the box. So to do this again, POS2, that's a double slash. Now I need to copy my um, selection. Um, for point of reference, it will copy it from the point of reference wherever you're standing from. So I need to stand roughly about here. This is the front of the bridge. So now I do slash slash copy. And now it's copied. All right, so the bridge has now been copied. Oh, we've got to repair that. Now, I can do several things. I can either, um, I also can cut the bridge, or I can just paste it. Um, right now, to be safe, I want to just paste it in the new location, because I don't want to copy the bridge, or cut it out, and then accidentally delete it. So, now we're going to move to the new location of where the bridge is going to be put. So let's do that. Alright guys, I just want to show you a point of reference of where we're going. I'm up here on a little building that uh, Shockjar has made. It's on a mountaintop, which you guys really haven't seen much. But uh, that's uh, Unilego's candy cane. But we're going way over here. And I just want to give you a point of reference of where we're going. So let me quickly move back over there. This is another building. I'm not sure whose it is. I haven't looked yet. And over here is um, the beginnings of a city that Gus Griswold started, and then he kind of stopped for a little bit. He had some creeper problems, and so he got discouraged, but I'm not, now he's going to start it up again. So here's a hotel um, in the middle of this ocean area. Yeah, there's all the creeper damage. And over there, uh, you can barely see the guys. Um, that's where we're going to be putting the bridge, along this area, right here. So, to do that, I need to, well, first, obviously, SWAN DIVE! And then, I need to teleport. Come on. There we go. Alright, so we've uh, lined this up. The, the distance between the, the um, shores and the hotel or, is longer than the bridge, but it's close enough that we can fudge it. So I built out this platform, and now I'm just in the right position. Let's see the hotel, the mountains over there. Making sure everyone's paying attention. And then I do the almighty paste. And bam, there you go. Instant paste. Now. Of course, there are some little problems. It caught, caught off some of the bridge right here. It, it kind of just, um, it will grab whatever is in that box and copy it and paste everything else. Whoops. Um, so let me just show you around a little bit. So there's going to be some cleanup that we have to do. Obviously, that half of the bridge has to go away. And over here... I've done this before just to test it out. Um, over here, yep, it's uh, copied some of the hillside. So, oops, oh well. Uh, we'll just have to clean that up. But uh, here is the bridge. Let's zoom up here, yep. This is the bridge's new location. It will be connecting the shoreline to the hotel over here. And the reason we did this, the reason that I broke my vanilla rule and did this... Um, pretty uh, intense um, modification is I did not want to destroy this bridge. This is a cool bridge and I didn't want to you know, have him remove it. But we all agreed that it did not fit its location where it was previously. Um, so we talked about it, we um, came to agreement that yes the bridge needs to stay but I mean it, need, it has to still be around but we can't have it in its location. 
So I agreed to, you know, modify it, um, break the rules of, uh, you know, the vanilla server that I did, and it was like, okay, well, we can move the bridge, and that's what we did. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how it's uh, been placed. Now, now we actually have two bridges right here. We have copied two bridges. Now we need to go back and get rid of the old bridge. Now that's going to be a little trickier because I don't want to, like, for instance, delete that bridge, that the little wooden one. So if I just cut and paste from the original location, um, we would have some problems. But we can get around that. And let me show you. All right, and we're back. So here's the bridge again. And if I want to got, get, I want to get rid of this bridge. Obviously, there was no point in just copying it. Um, position one and two are still set. So. Um, We need to make sure he's off the old bridge. Um, everyone, yeah, we don't. We need to get them off the bridge because I'm going to be right here, and I can just do da da. The positions are still set. Um, position one and two are still set. So then I can just do cut, and it just takes out the whole bridge like that. So, so there is still some cleanup that needs to be done. Um, this land has to be um, rebuilt, and that was cut out. There's some ugly dirt here, but for the most part, um, and apparently some of that for some reason, um, for the most part, it was a clean, uh, safe cut. Now, there is a slight problem. We're missing part of the bridge over here, but that's okay because it is back at the um, new location of the bridge. So, this means we need to go back and copy that old bridge and paste it back right here, which should be no problem. So let me do that. Alright, so we're back at the new location, and there we go. Here's the old, uh, here's part of the old bridge. Now, the tricky part will be to cut this part out without much trouble. Uh, I don't have any dirt on me, but what I can do... I need to build up a platform that I can stand up on. Let's, uh, this is, can be position one. And over here, I want to make sure I'm right under the right part of the bridge. Right here. And then we can go up maybe 10 blocks. Yeah, there we go. So then I can do position 2 and I'll get rid of that piece of glass. And let's go over here. And I need to make sure I'm in the right position to copy it. So let's move over here. And now those planks right there, they were missing before the copy. I think a, um, a creeper explosion took care of that. So let's cut this. Perfect. It took the bridge. It may have taken a little bit out of that part of the bridge, but that's okay, the old bridge. Now let's teleport back to the, I'm getting confused, back to the original location near the greenhouse and put this bridge back in place. All right, we're back, and as you can see, the bridge is still gone, the giant bridge, and so is half of the old bridge, uh, wooden bridge. So this is going to be a little tricky. I'm going to have to approximate where everything was and hope it works out. And luckily, there's always an undo, so if I screw up, I can just do it again. Hit paste. I may... Oh, I was off by one block. See that? Uh, not quite right. So let's undo that, and let's try this again. Move forward just a bit, and paste. Ah, not quite. Getting there. Oops. Let me get back out of there. And let me just look this over again. Nope, I'm missing. It seems to be part of the bridge in the middle. There's some issues. 
let's see, let's look at the spacing here. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, so we somehow lost just a part of the bridge in something, which is okay. But I can just um, back up and rebuild bits of the bridge. That won't be a problem. So let's back up a short step and hit paste. And let's double check. The stairs line up. Yeah, so that's as good as we're going to get. We'll have to do a slight repair on the bridge because um, it looks like just a, a block or two is lost in translation. And we'll have to um, add some of these trap doors back. But other than that, um, the damage is pretty much repaired. We got a few extra bits from the old bridge here, um, or the new bridge, or whatever type of bridge. Oops. Um, so there'll be a little bit of restoration we'll have to do. That hillside will have to go um, be repaired, and these bits of dirt um, will have to go as well. But um, you know what? Not bad. So thanks, Jack. Um, you have an awesome bridge. Um, I'm going to make that clear to him and to everyone else. Is uh, It's a great bridge, and that's why I wanted to move it, because we didn't want to destroy it. So it, it is a good bridge. Anyway, I just want to show you guys well, this is how um, world editing works, and we never usually do this. I want to affirm this again, that everything else we've built here, even the bridge we built, um, Jack and Gus built legitimately. We just wanted to move it, um, rip it up, and then they move it to a safer location. Um, it was just, you know, the bridge was not quite in place with this area, uh, but it, it'll fit very nicely with Gus Griswold's um, skyscraper city that I think will get started again. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Kind of a different episode, a little rambling. Um, maybe you learned a bit about World Edit. Um, if you're interested in it, go check it out. I'll put a link um, to it. It's a mod and a plugin. Try not to get too carried away with it, though, guys, because it's a, it's a huge temptation just to kind of use World Edit to get away with doing a bunch of stuff that otherwise takes the joy out of Minecraft. I mean, I enjoy gathering materials and all that, um, but sometimes a case calls for extreme measures to remove something and move it to a more appropriate location. All right, hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you guys later.